Hey Taurus, welcome to your May tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be taken up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with, so you might have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to look into what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of May. See what you could be currently going through or what you can expect for the month coming up and yeah so we'll get some advice get some insight on whatever might be going on for you guys hope that you guys are doing well and uh yeah so let's just see what's going on for you guys happy birthday by the way i almost forgot but i didn't taught myself happy birthday to all my taurus babies out there hope that you guys have a good birthday season despite what's going on in this crazy ass world and that you're able to enjoy yourself and like treat yourself to something nice even if you can't do anything like treat yourself to your favorite bottle of wine or you know eat a good meal or something like that so anyways happy birthday and we oh no that's too many i'm not gonna take that so let's just see what needs to come out messages for taurus sun moon rising venus for the month of may 2020 messages for taurus please show me clearly what messages do we have for taurus sun moon rising venus for may 2020 messages for taurus what does taurus need to know show me clearly messages for taurus okay let's get into this okay messages for taurus what do we have here we got the knight of pentacles okay Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May. Okay. The Empress, Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Okay, what has happening here? There's a glare, so it's kind of hard to see. I need to, like, do something about this. Like, uh, I'll just suffer. It's okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Okay, so... You're definitely working towards a goal or working towards a project or an idea in your mind or you're working towards like your manifestations, okay? So the fruits of your labors are slowly but surely starting to come in. We have the Empress out here, Taurus, you're in your element, you're focusing on healing, surrounding yourself with good uplifting energy, knowing that you can create whatever it is that you want. What does this say? I create what I want and choose naturally with joy or something like that. Yeah. So I'm just feeling like you guys are almost going through like a little birthing process. Whether you are actually pregnant and you are giving birth sometime soon, congratulations if that's, if that's the case. Or maybe you are pregnant with an idea of some sort that just starts off like, oh, maybe I should consider pursuing this. Or maybe I should, you know, dabble into this hobby or you want to pick up something right you want to pick something up but then it may actually turn into like a career something that you can make a money off or make a living from and something that you are really passionate about something that inspires you and I do feel like there's a lot of support here if you were to go down this road and plus the knight of pentacles he always crosses the finish line out of all the knights in the tarot deck he always remains strong and sturdy he takes his time he doesn't rush because rushing may lead to failure so he likes to take it slow planning accordingly and take it step by step not missing one of the steps that's important to build a solid foundation i love it um so we have the three of pentacles out here which does talk about there being support whatever it is that you want to go after whatever it is you want to choose i do feel like there is this support it's going to help you along this journey of course but i also feel like you could be either learning something or you are teaching these skills to other people or like you're going to be helping other people as well i don't know i'm getting like there's this support system that's like you support them but they support you or like how many people there might be i don't fucking know but there's like this equal give and take and there's like this really good foundation that is starting to grow that's starting to build like you're off to a really strong start you're on the right track keep on keep going i can't speak <laughs> um and then we have the five of swords so i'm not too big on that this could just be talking about you focusing on healing you won the victory you won the battle victoriously you're walking away and you're using that pain or emotion as that motivation to keep pushing and to prove not only these people wrong but yourself wrong um 
This could be definitely talking about something from your past, though. Wait, let me look at the bottom of that. Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Also, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel like the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse here is talking about this Five of Swords. You chose to walk away from something where you didn't want to invest your time into anymore. You didn't want to invest your energy into a certain situation or a relationship any longer because it was, like, draining you or was keeping you stagnant or it just wasn't going anywhere. And so you decided to focus on yourself, Nine of Pentacles, that independence, right? Focusing on loving yourself. Okay, so yeah, now at the bottom of the deck, like I was saying, we had the Three of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles and then the Chariot. So what I'm feeling here is like you're coming up with the steps on how you want to go about this idea that you want to take off. Because with the Empress here, that's you seeing your fruits of your labor come in. You're not there yet, or maybe you are, right? Maybe whatever I'm talking about right now has already happened, right? Depending on where you are in this situation, but like... This idea stemmed from just like a thought, then you considered it, you contemplated it. Now you're actually thinking about how you're going to take action to get to this end goal, this end result here. And so I don't really see too, too much action at this very point right now with the three of wands. That's kind of just standing, considering, looking, um, evaluating your steps, the goals, how you're going to get there, you're kind of work backwards. Okay, so what's your end goal? What do you really want? What's going to fulfill you? Okay, so you, now you have that figured out. How are you going to get there? What steps do you have to take? Do you have to move? Do you have to take a different class, get higher education? Like, do you have to get a certificate? Or, you know, like, it's kind of like you have to come up with the steps in order for this to go through. Okay, but... You're coming up these with these goals, okay? And with the Page of Pentacles here, there's definitely an opportunity that's being presented or you're, you're taking advantage of this, basically, is what I'm saying. So this is that thought. This is that idea. Then you're kind of contemplating it. This could be around your financial stability or, like, you know, your finances, your work, your career. And um, you're kind of coming up with the steps, like I was saying. This also is for your personal growth, and it's going to teach you a lot of valuable lessons, okay? But once you have those goals, once you finally have those ideas, maybe you ask other people's opinions on, like, how do you think I should go about this? Or do you think I should try it like this? Like, you might be getting support or um, help from other people or opinions or, like, collaborating with people, working in a team. Maybe it's not just you who's starting this idea. Maybe this is a whole group kind of project thing, or you're starting a business with a couple people. Or I don't know. I'm just getting all these different things what resonates right once you come up with a solid plan i see that you're gonna go full-blown take an action going after whatever this is that you want um and just feeling really confident within it and trusting the process trusting that it's all gonna work out yeah okay it might take some time you might need to it might just be slow and steady but slow and steady wins the race um but then again, the chariot also takes off pretty fast. So it's like the initial process. It's like the planning is slow and steady. And then once you've got that solid plan in motion, you're taking action and just boom, 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 getting shit done on top of business. Like that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So interesting, Taurus. You guys are on your A game. I love it. So let's dig deeper. Let's get some more info as to what's happening here and uh first of all i want to go into the five of swords see what this is talking about so i have the five of swords for taurus in may 2020 I have the five of swords for taurus five of swords for taurus let's do one more five of swords for taurus please for may what's this five of swords about Try the Five of Swords for Taurus. It's Ten of Cups. Okay, maybe this is something to do with your family. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Where did it go? Oh, the Lovers. Okay, so. Hierophant, the World, the Queen of Cups. Okay, what am I getting here? So. There could have been, okay, maybe there was some type of betrayal or misunderstanding or even like petty arguments or just like trying to heal from a connection or a commitment. 
something's wrapping up here for sure. We got the Ten of Cups and we also have the World out here. So that's talking about completion of a cycle. There's an opportunity here. There's a decision. This opportunity is a decision to heal from something. But it's not telling you what you're healing from. Like, because... All these cards that came out to clarify are pretty positive, but the Five of Swords is a little bit iffy, okay? So, like, basically, you've learned a lot of lessons from this, whatever this Five of Swords is. So, Five of Swords talks about some type of betrayal, there could have been manipulation, there could have been a lot of ego involved, a lot of stubbornness, a lot of, like, arguing and conflict, like a, like a battle, okay? And it's like you're coming out of this battle, you're on the other side of this. Now... This could have been some type of, like, conflict between you and, like, someone in your family or someone who you were connected to in some sort of relationship. For some, this is love. For some, this is a commitment. For some, this is even a marriage, right? But it's looking like this is wrapping up or, like, this conflict or these issues or this battle that's been going on is closing out. There's an opportunity to heal from whatever this Five of Swords might be. If you put the work in, Eight of Pentacles... There might be like, you know, like a heart to heart conversation. We have the Queen of Cups, High Priestess, a, a, a heart to heart conversation on things that like left you feeling confused or oh, this is weird. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like, what am I getting? This is a little bit. This is just a little weird. Not going to lie. What was the other card that came out? We had Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. And the lovers, okay, and these, these are at the bottom. <sighs> I'm going to see what else needs to come out. Five of Swords for Taurus and May. Let's try the Five of Swords for Taurus and May. Strength, Leo energy, and death. See, so something is wrapping up here. There is some type of chapter wrapping up. Another ten, ten of wands, the four of cups. Yeah, it's just four cups, something you haven't seen or something that didn't make sense, something that just didn't add up. This is weird. Okay, whatever. I guess that's what it is. Um, you're clearing up a situation, you're healing from something, and you're finding the courage, the strength, and the patient patience sorry, to get past this and to move on and to focus on more important things in your life than some type of like burn or baggage that you were once carrying and you would rather focus on what truly you know makes you happy than focus on the negatives in life or like focus on what has happened what has already happened or what has already happened I just repeated myself <laughs> what the fuck what has already happened in your past like you would rather just like focus on the future and learn from whatever you've gone through than to dwell and sit and think and get up in your feelings and just sit around and make no changes like you're learning from whatever this five of swords was and you're growing from it and you're focusing on the lesson behind the situation so and therefore you're going through a little transition a little change okay things are closing up here though okay so hopefully that makes sense we're gonna move on so let's go into the three of pentacles for taurus summon rising venus tell me the three of pentacles for taurus in may tell me the three of pentacles for taurus in may Try the Three of Pentacles for Taurus. We have the Hangman. Try the Three of Pentacles for Taurus in May. Okay, we got two flipping out. Hierophant and the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so you. this is what I'm feeling here. There's like this idea. You might also have Aries in your chart because Aries had a similar kind of reading. Like they were contemplating um, making some type of move regarding like their finances or like this idea that they had in their back pocket but they weren't 100 percent sure and then they were like you know what fuck it i got nothing to lose i'm gonna take action on this i'm gonna take this leap of faith on whatever i'm feeling passionate towards right so you might have aries in your chart that might resonate if that's the case check out aries reading because that's this is kind of similar to their reading just saying there's a lot of similarities here but anyways so you're kind of in like this hesitation or contemplation not taking too too much action you're kind of like procrastinating taking on this new start or taking on this plan or 
coming up with a plan. Like, maybe you haven't even started planning on how you want to get to the area. You're just kind of, like, sitting, not really taking much action. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it, but you haven't taken the action yet. Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, there has been no action taken. You're kind of just standing there, and you're looking at it, but you're not actually moving towards it. It's not going to come to you. You got to go towards it, okay? Um, yeah, see, look at how this Prince, I mean... Knight of Pentacles, he's just looking from the distance, he's just standing there, he's not actually taking action and moving towards it, he's just standing, looking, like, why am I getting that, it's you, Taurus, you're looking at something, you're admiring it, you know it's probably a good idea to go after whatever this is, it could lead to a lot of stability, but you're just kind of standing there, hesitate, hesitation, like, you're hesitant to do this because maybe you're worried about failing or things not working out the way you want it to. Or, I don't know, something like that. But that's just self-sabotage, okay? So, you gotta snap out of that. And that could be what these people around you, friends, family, whoever supports you, lovers, whatever, that are helping you and reminding you. Taurus, the higher friend out here, Taurus, you guys coming out. Taurus. You are so capable of making this shit a reality. You can do this. Like, look at you. If you stay committed, if you put the work in, you will see the results come to fruition. I'm just saying. So, yeah, Six of Pentacles. What you put out is what you're going to receive. What you put out into the universe, you're going to get that back. Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, the King of Cups in reverse, and Three of Swords in reverse. So yeah, some of you are definitely a bit closed off to any like love opportunities or opening yourself up. Or you could be putting your guard up at a time like this and focusing more on like the material side of life more than like emotions and loves and connections right i feel like some of you could be spending a lot of time alone or isolating yourselves from some people or certain connections of yeah i don't know that's just like a little side message because that has nothing to do really with this but with the hermit out here we have a lot of spiritual cards we have the hangman we have the hermit we have was there something else i don't know Oh, I saw the High Priestess earlier, but, like, doesn't count because it wasn't, like, whatever. This could be part of, like, your spiritual process, too, or, like, you are opening up to that side of life. Like, you're learning more about your spirituality or learning more about your purpose, learning more about, you know, what's more meaningful and purposeful for you in your life and your journey like if you're fully fulfilled with whatever you're doing right now or if there's something more deeper that you want to pursue something like that so you could be thinking about that wondering about it wondering what your purpose is wondering why are you here like what is truly my purpose like is it to be is it really to be a I don't know, whatever, fill the blanks, or should I go after what my heart is calling me to do, or something like that, I don't know, it's just a little side message, again, very similar to Aries reading, but you do, it's just like, you have the support, you have the support to make this decision, to go after what it is that you want, and it looks like it's very promising, okay, just take the steps, take it slowly, don't rush into things, be patient, you know how it goes, but yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse wanted to come out here. So we're going to keep her to the side. That could be talking about a lot of different things. Hold on. Let's just get into this um, Knight of Pentacles first and then we'll tell me the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus in May. Tell me the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus. Knight of Pentacles for Taurus, please. Eight of Cups. So, having to leave behind what you know. Eight of Cups. What are you leaving behind? Whatever it is that you're currently standing in. Everything that you once knew, you're walking away from into unknown territory, right? Or that's why you're hesitant. Because you know, if you start this new journey, this new beginning, you're going to have to leave behind what you know. And you're going to be starting fresh. Thing is, you're not starting fresh from, like, nothing. Like, you have all that wisdom, all that knowledge in your back pocket, all the things that you've learned from, those lessons, uh, your wisdom, right? The Hierophant, he's very wise. You have all that in your back pocket. So you, even though you might be starting fresh, you have this clean slate, you still have all that wisdom in your back pocket that's going to help you in the long run. 
two of swords yeah but you're at a crossroad you're like oh i don't know should i do it you're kind of hesitant you're unsure see and that's why that's why we had the princess of pentacles in the reverse as well as the hangman because you're you're hesitant to jump off this cliff because you've never jumped off this specific cliff before yeah okay maybe you took leaps of faith elsewhere but like you've never done something like this before and so you're a little bit worried or a little bit scared you're kind of getting in your head i'm feeling like you're kind of like becoming your own blockage at this point tell me about the prince of pentacles here we have the eight of pentacles but it came out it was an upright it was an inver in reverse it's like you have to put the work like see now we have two eights coming out do we have another eight uh no we didn't uh no yeah, for a second I thought we had the Eight of Swords. We don't, but like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that card comes out because of you guys may be getting in your head. You have to put the work in. If you don't put any effort into this idea, into this project, into whatever it is, anything in life, whether you're trying to work out and become healthier, whether you are working on a project, whether you are trying to build your house and make it look nicer or whatever you got to put the work in you can't just sit back and wave a magic wand and things to just appear magically out of nowhere like you have to put something out in order to receive you know that's just the equal give and take you can't just take 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 because you're gonna get nothing bitch so eight of pentacles didn't come out upright or in reverse but i would just say if you're going to take this leap of faith, you're going to have to put the work in, is basically what it's saying. If you don't take this leap of faith, then yeah, okay, well, then I guess you're not putting any work in. It's up to you, right? I guess it's kind of saying, well, it's up to you if you want to do this, if you want to make this work. It's up to you. The decision is yours. It's kind of what I'm getting here. And so, bottom of the deck, we have the Prince of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Prince of Swords. It's up. Yeah, see, there we go. It's about you to take action towards this. It's up to you if you want to go after this. Do you want to stay in your comfort zone, Queen of Wands? Do you want to stay in your comfort zone? I mean, she's very talented. She's very creative. She's very artistic and expressive. And she, you know, she has a lot of, like, eyes on her, a lot of attraction and admirers, you know. But, like, she also likes to stay in her comfort zone. It takes her a lot of guts and confidence to, like, put herself out there, out of that little circle. Like, there is you, this is the circle, and this circle is your comfort zone. So are you going to cross that line to go into the unknown, or are you just going to stay in what feels comfortable? It's up to you, right? But if you're wanting this to work in your favor, you're going to have to make the decision. Do I put the effort in? Do I work hard? towards this do i enter into the unknown right it's up to you but you have this decision right so that's just kind of what's coming through and again needing to be patient to see the results come in wheel of fortune also sagittarius coming out i haven't even stated the signs i'm sorry but i mean we have taurus we have a lot of taurus we have leo we have gemini we have pisces sagittarius okay now there now with this queen of pentacles in the reverse i don't know was that just me because like i don't know this doesn't i mean we're gonna talk about her we're gonna talk about her this can be talking about either someone who is very selfish very self-centered like see this is just random like i don't really feel like this fits but we're gonna talk about it anyways because it came out for a reason Either this could be talking about someone who's very selfish, self-centered, have their head up their ass, you know, me, 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 you know, whatever. I don't really feel like this fits in this reading, though. Um, this can also be talking about becoming a workaholic, draining yourself to the point of exhaustion, putting all that work and work, 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 wake up, work, go to sleep, wake up, work, go to sleep. Like, there's no break, there's no time for you, you're just draining yourself, and then you push yourself to the point where there's no going back, and then you just feel drained, and your battery's empty. So, I would assume, like, if you're going to go after this dream, this idea, this desire, keep that balance, right? Make sure that you take time out for other things, yourself, your health, your well-being, right? Other people, whatever, family, friends, whatever. But don't be overworking yourself to the point of exhaustion. Have a good work-life balance, basically. So put her back. But I feel like that's the reason why it came out. You gotta have that good balance. <sighs> I have the Empress for Taurus in May 2020. I have the Empress for Taurus in May. Okay. 
Tony the Empress for Taurus in May 2020. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Using that pain as motivation. I said that earlier. So we have like we have uh, quite a bit of tens that showed up in this reading. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There's quite a bit of air with this empress out here. So it's like you're independent, right? You are self-sufficient independent work hard to get to where you are had that foundation built you laid every single one of those pentacles on the ground right you've put a lot of work a lot of effort into where you are today and this could have resulted from some type of betrayal or ending that has happened in the past and that could be what this five of swords was about there could have been some type of betrayal that was really close to you and you had to walk away from it you've healing from you're healing from it, it caught made you have to have a lot of strength to get past this and if it wasn't for this betrayal, you wouldn't be where you are today. And so you've learned a lot from this. And so you've gained your independence because of the situation in the past, whatever this might have been. And again, with the Five of Swords in the reverse, I feel like you guys are just focusing on healing from this situation. But this can also... to See, like, this is just weird. We have the Prince of Swords... Okay, if I can pick this up. Oh my god. We have the Prince of Swords coming out with the Five of Swords in the reverse. And that could just... If I can speak, that can sometimes talk about an apology. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Ugh. I mean, hey, people owning up to their fuck ups, sure, do it. But as far as that, I don't know. Anyways, three of wands, the five of wands, and the prince of wands. Okay, there's a lot of fire. Um, could have been dealing with a fire sign in the past regarding this ten of swords. It's like, see, why is this like? Why is this being talked about with the Empress here? Like, does someone want to grow with you or fix the situation? I don't know, dude. Um, I hope not. Because that shit, who wants that? I'm going to just keep my opinions out. Um, I just see that, like, whatever this ending once was made you grow and prosper and learn more about yourself. And so it's up to you if you want to, again, like it's just talking about taking this leap of faith. Are you going to jump off this cliff or are you just going to stand there and wait and possibly miss out on this opportunity? And so you're having this confliction within yourself. You're unsure of like, should I go? Should I not? Is this a good idea? What if this fails? What if this works? But what if it doesn't? But what if this turns out to be life changing? What if this was a waste of time? Like you're going back and forth. You got to just set your mind and then just make peace with it and then just go after whatever it is that you decide on right if you decide okay you know what i don't want to take this leap of faith i'm scared i don't want to okay make peace with that if you want to take action towards this if you want to push yourself okay maybe this won't work out in my favor but i'm gonna try because at least if i try then i will never ask myself what if down the line right and so if you do that make peace with that don't go back and forth pick one side okay so I'm gonna just leave it at that. Let's look into your expected timelines. This was kind of a weird little reading. I don't know. I hope it makes sense because some things didn't really feel like it did, but maybe it is for some people. I don't know. So let's go into your expected timelines. What are the expected timelines for Taurus in May? What can Taurus expect in the near future based off the current timelines? What can Taurus expect? What can Taurus expect in the near future, Sean Bailey? What can Taurus expect in the near future based off of current times? We'll do one more. So the timelines for Taurus, Summer Rising Venus for May. the timelines okay look at that seven of cups you have a lot of options right you may not know what it is that you want to do and that's okay but start to lower down the distractions start to cut out things that are keeping you stagnant or things that aren't fulfilling you yeah okay you might have a lot of different things going on in your life you don't know where you want to go you don't know the direction you're heading in that's okay what you do need to figure out is what makes you happy what fulfills you what do you find joy in and start from there okay so even just taking a baby step like that is going to help you in the long run. 
lower down your options. You might have a lot of different shit going on. Focus on a couple things. Not everything. Focus on, like, a couple, you know? Whew. Empress. I mean, sorry, Emperor. Aries energy. Take control. Take control over your actions. Take control over your mindset. Especially those who have been going back and forth over a decision, over this idea. I'm not sure. Should I try this? Maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm going to try this. Actually, no. I think I'm going to try the girl, boy, man. Dude, you got too much shit on your shoulders. You got too much shit on your plates. You've taken off too much food and you can't eat it all. And now you have leftovers for the next day. Now, leftovers aren't bad. But in this case, though, let's just assume that the leftovers, they're just going to go to waste, right? You're not going to eat it. So focus on what truly fulfills you. Take action. Stop making excuses. Oh, but I can't do this because no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Time for you to take action. Time for you to take control, okay? Nope, that was me. That was my own fault. Those cards didn't come out. It was my own fault, okay? Okay, we have the sun and we have the six of swords. Okay, so making that decision to move towards what fulfills you. That's exactly what I was saying. Go after and choose the cup that's the most fulfilling to you. I don't care if this, whatever it is, choose what brings you this optimistic happy fulfilling inspiring type of energy and we have the six of swords so yeah take an action and finally finally not sitting in stagnancy not just sitting waiting crossing your arms hmm, what is this coming like you're finally taking that action to actually move towards whatever goals you've set your mind to love that for you king of wands fuck it see confident going after what it is that fulfills you what it is that you want believing in yourself not doubting yourself not quitting even if it's not easy even if it's not just going to be handed towards you here you go taurus here you go there's your dr dreams wishes desires there you go you didn't have to work for it no 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 you're gonna have to work for it okay it's not just going to be handed towards you it's not going to be oh here you go open the door oh my god there thank you thanks universe no that's not how it works so you can't just wave that magic wand. I'm sorry. Wish that was how it was, but it isn't. It is what it is, right? You got to work for it, though. You put the effort in. You stay committed. Keep going. You don't quit. Even when times may be tough, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Such a timeline. Ace of Swords. Taking that C. C. All those different things going on in your life. I'm unsure. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Well, now you have that clear mindset. You can take that sword and you cut through all the cups that are distracting or getting in the way of what fulfills you. What, you know, you're, you're, you're finally seeing things clearly now. You see through the confusion, the illusions, whatever that's been stopping you from going after what it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want. Okay, we're going to get one more. Expected timelines for Taurus in May. Expected time. Oh, okay. Guess we got two more. Guess we got two more. We have the chariot and the five of cups. First of all, let's talk about this five of cups. Some of you are still dwelling on the past or dwelling over things that you should have, could have, would have. Oh, I missed out on an opportunity. Oh, why didn't I do this? You're kicking yourself. You're beating yourself up. Shut that shit down. There's nothing you can do about it. Can you go back in time, time travel, and redo that? No, you can't. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit and cry and feel sorry for yourselves? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> are you going to sit and cry and feel sorry for yourselves over something that you could have done or could have done differently? Or, oh my god, like, stop beating yourself up there's nothing you can do about it and all that's gonna do is make you feel shittier and more of a bum so instead take that clear head in mind that you have i know you do and you gotta push through you gotta pick yourself up and go after what it is that you want and believe in yourself don't carry these past mistakes or things that you're dwelling on don't bring that into the future of what has not even happened yet so don't take what has happened in the past and apply that to the future no because things are going to be different things are going to change unless you want to keep repeating the same old shit which you probably don't so now just learn from it grow from it and you don't have to repeat it okay but it's up to you
You can choose to repeat it, you can choose to go through it over and over and over, or you can choose to learn from it, grow from it, and move forward. It's up to you, Taurus. I'm just saying. It's up to you. You have all these different things on what you can focus on. You can focus on your past baggage, all the dwellings, all the heartbreak, all the mistakes you've made. Oh my god, I'm such a horrible person. I'm such an idiot beating yourself up. Be mindful of what you're feeding yourself. Are you talking negative to yourself? Are you beating yourself down? Are you being your hardest critic? Are you feeding yourself with positivity and believing in yourself and ha being your own best friend, having your own back? Ask yourself that. Think about it. Are you your best friend or your worst enemy? There's something, there's some little food for thought. I don't know. Let's get some advice. All right, so any advice for Taurus regarding this reading? Any advice for Taurus? Butterfly, tiger, any advice for Taurus? Okay. All right. Yeah. So you guys are going through a transformation. You guys are going through a major change, a major shift in your life. What you know currently versus what you don't know, what you might be heading towards, what might change from now to like six months from now, things may be completely different. You're going through a huge transition and it's up for you to just kind of take a step back, release control, trust, go with the flow, and know that things are happening on a bigger scale that you can even imagine. Like you don't even see the full picture right now. So try to stay in a positive mindset because there's so much that is yet to come and it's up to you to try to catch yourself when you're finding yourself slipping back into old habits, holding on to certain patterns, certain people, things from your past that no longer resonate with you now. Like, you got to be mindful of those things. Now, I'm also really noticing with the tiger and the horse, they both have the moon on their, um, you know, like their third eye. So definitely pay attention to your intuition. Plus, we have the full moon, um, the super moon in Scorpio coming up on the 7th, which is like two days from now. So probably by the day I upload it, because I don't know if I'll upload it tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but very soon. So pay attention to what your intuition is telling you, your dreams, the messages you may be receiving or channeling through or, you know, whatever you might be hearing, seeing, synchronicities, certain animals, whatever, right? But pay attention to that. Pay attention to your intuition for sure because that's playing a huge part. If you feel in your gut, I'm going to take action on this. I feel it in my gut that this is the best thing I should do and I should focus on this. And even though I'm a little bit hesitant, I'm going to focus on this and try it out. Something like that. But just know with this horse, this talks about pushing through and achieving whatever you set your mind to that you can accomplish literally anything that you want. Only blockage can come into your way is yourself of course like things that are in control your own actions your own mind right that can become your own blockage but it's up to you to push through that with the deer this can be talking about like you know your feminine side healing being nurturing taking care of things and just very like soft send i can't fuck i guess being spending time in nature and surrounding yourself with even children. Some of you may actually be pregnant or you're giving birth. Like I said that earlier today, or not earlier today, but earlier in this reading, like pregnancies or like being very fertile. So I'm just passing on the message. This is in this card too with the deer. So interesting. Let's see what else needs to come out. Like what's in the book? You could be dealing with an air sign, earth sign, or fire sign. So, first things first, the butterfly undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is an element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships or career. Since transition is accompanied by the same amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon. Committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer done at the same place and time will do wonders for lifting a butterfly spirit when a balanced cheerful and graceful when out of balance fragile frustrated and to bring in a balanced daily routine so definitely taking time out for yourself remember when i was saying don't be like 
eat, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work, like make sure you have a good balance in your life, make sure that you're taking time out for you and doing things that help you along your journey, your path, whatever you've been doing, make sure that you are doing things that help you in the long run. If that means that you got to take an hour out a day or even more to do something that makes you happy, whether that is working out, meditating, going for a walk, doing some art, eating good food, making a meal, whatever fulfills you, do it every day though make that a commitment have the tiger lunar force ease in darkness and feminine energy the tiger hunts at night at one with the silence fearing nothing this card reminds us to take in the wild darkness to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits sensuality receptivity and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour and the tiger takes advantage of these boons spend some time in silence this evening drinking the potent calm there is nothing to fear in the stillness except for the awakening of your own power one in balance, passionate, strong, and sensual. One out of balance, overstimulated, and to bring it a balance, tactra, which is candle gazing. So yeah, definitely just make sure you take time for you. Sit in silence, do some journaling, you know, sit and think and pay attention to where your mind goes and what comes into your head, what comes into your mind. Write that shit down, okay? But yeah, spend some solo time. So then the horse, momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of the earth element within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we have honed and collect our energy through daily practice. Daily practice. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus, meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, achieves anything and never gives up. When out of balance, runs away, feels weak, and to bring in a balance, strength training. So, so far, these three cards for your advice definitely are talking about you needing to take time to commit to something once a day possibly something to do like meditation or spending some solo time with your thoughts, with your ideas, journal your thoughts, and, um, as well as exercising or getting some, going for a walk or whatever, right? Something that's going to help you physically, but then also something that's going to help you mentally. Even if it's like for 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day, it's going to help you so much, like so much, especially with whatever you're trying to work towards or these goals or this project. Like it's going to help you in the long run. It's, it's going to help you stay more focused, stay more inspired and want to keep going, right? Not to quit. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. And then we have the deer. So loving, intuitive, graceful, and the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspect of all earth enemy, <laughs> of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and a sense of grace calms the room. A deer personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when there is a birth or celebration of new life draws near or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, receptive, compassionate, nurturing, when out of balance, concerned and protective and to bring into balance nature and children, okay? Definitely take some time out, surround yourself in nature, go for a little nature walk, get some fresh air and um, just do things that are good for you, man. That's what I've been saying, though, and that's just kind of backing me up. Like, make sure that you're taking time to focus on you, to better yourself, and to make yourself stronger than ever. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, you know how it goes. Let's get some affirmations, and then we're going to end the reading. It's been kind of long. So any affirmations for Taurus regarding this reading? Affirmations for Taurus? Okay, look here. Self-talk. Self-talk self-talk are you kidding see be very fucking mindful of what you were saying to yourself what you were thinking what goes through your mind oh my god look at this shit two birds on the bottom okay okay affirmations all right <laughs> guys birds okay we got a lot of birds coming out here we have self-talk wisdom and build on your dreams so first of all self-talk Listen to your head chatter. If it's too constant, switch off and become involved in a creative activity that puts you in the now. Acknowledge the blessings in your life. Affirmation, I'm focused. So focus on something. Focus on meditating. Focus on an art 
focus on something that makes you focus on the now. Not the past, not the future, the current, present moments. That's going to help you majorly. Then we have wisdom. Do define yourself by others' expectations. Release fears and past beliefs and life will take care of itself and flow. Affirmation, I am trusting my inner wisdom, okay? You have that inner wisdom. Pay attention to it. Listen to it. Meditate on it. You have the answers that reside within you, but you need to trust it. You need to trust your gut. You need to trust your intuition and trust the process. Have faith, okay? Then we have build on your dreams. Your heart guides you as you resurrect a forgotten dream and gain insights into your own ability. Events are about to change. Affirmation, I am manifesting my dreams, okay? So this is really good, you guys. There's going to be a lot of different things that are happening, a lot of changes. Um, be focused, trust your inner wisdom, and manifest the reality that you want, okay? Because you're so capable of making whatever it is happen in your life. But it's up to you to stay consistent, and to stay focused and to stay on target. Don't slack off. Don't procrastinate. Stay on target. Keep going. Don't quit. Even when it's hard. Even on days where you feel like you have no motivation or you're whatever, right? Things are going on in your life. Whatever's going on. But just make sure that you're taking the time out for you and to take control over the shit that you want. I don't know. I'm just like rambling at this point. I'm going to end the reading. I hope that it helped you guys. If it did, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.